Hey guys, it's Red Lord back here again. I'm gonna uh, do a Feed the Beast server with you guys. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get connected to our server. And let's make up a directory. We can use our template server here again, if I remember correctly. So let's copy cursively. Oh, our template server to We'll call it FTP. There we go. And we can get rid of the jar file. Now let's hit let's hit the feed the beast website. There we go. And I think just recently they actually fixed the server download link. W get. Now I do not know if this link changes when servers are updated. So that said, we will assume like everything else it does not. But we all know what happens when you assume. So actually we need to change the name of our git script to git ftb and then nano git ftb I think it's still on my clipboard so nope oh, nope it's not oh yeah it is it's just that big all right there we go control x yes enter all right so now, this is why we got the zip file, or the unzip program early on. We're going to do an unzip. Oh, unzip on FTP beta A server. Uh, replace server properties. Um, no, I don't think we want to do that. All right. Actually, let's... Uh, Let's see what, let's do that. Let's move our current server.properties to server.properties.backup. Right. And I'm up arrowing here to get back and replace all. So shift A. Okay. And let's, uh, let's look at server.properties. Um, oh, let's maximize this guy. Okay. Um, it looks like a default server properties file. Um, the spawn protection, animals, whitelist, build height, server IP, archon. Yep, okay, so. Oh, control X, in this case, no. We're going to remove server.properties, and we're going to move back our properties.back to server.properties. Yay, okay. Um, <clears throat> additionally, all of these, these batch files that are in here, since we're not on a Windows box, these mean absolutely nothing. So we can remove those as well. Star.bat. Um, it looks like here we've got to, oh, we can get rid of our zip file. Uh, we're done with that, so let's see what else we've got lists. left. There's the whitelist, ops, band, config, core mods, etc., etc. All right, so we need to, this is going to be the server. Let's go ahead and edit our startup. Batch or uh, shell script, and there we go. Control X Y Enter. All right. So the other thing uh, for feed the beast that you're going to be concerned with is your config. 
and there's the config directory right there. I change to config. And here are all the CFG files for everything that comes along with the Feed the Beast server. Um, that said, you can edit any of these. Um, edit, and you can come in and tweak these as you need, right? So, number of updates per tick to send. Uh, for negative values, update interval in ticks. Um, each update sends a single packet to a player. So, one packet per tick is great here. Uh, oh, control X. No. So, again, right, uh, depending upon what it is you want to tweak, it depends on the text file that you're going to end up using. That said, go back up here and start our server. Everything's looking good. Starting up. Here's some stack trace and a conflict and actually generating the world. Another stack trace. And it looks like that's it. So let's let's roll up here and look at the stack trace. This is Paul's code sound stuff. Uh, I've always seen this break. Uh, I have no energy to go figure out why it's breaking or to fix it. Though I suppose one day I'll get annoyed enough at looking at these traces pop up that I'll actually do something about it. Alright, so for now, let's stop this guy. And look at what we've got. A lot. Um, I don't think there are any other things we want to tweak in here. No, these are all looking good. I don't care about, again, with the whole vanilla deal, I don't want to modify any of this, so... We'll just go ahead and start the server. Server is running, look at that, on the back end. Um, wait for this guy to finish. Alright, and we'll minimize this. Again, I'm not running it in a screen. You're probably going to want to run it in a screen, so you should do that. And then I've got to actually install it on my box. Download the installer. Yeah, we'll run it. Minimize my browser. Now I've already set this up, so I, you have to create a profile and give it your login ID and password. And we'll click on launch. It's going to go out and get all the stuff that it needs for the mods. It's going to compile them all into the jar and then kick us off. And again, with the stack traces there. Here we go. Alright, 1.4.2 with some of these uh, mod packs installed. Multiplayer. Um, you can add a server here. 192, 168, 73, 247. There we go. In like Flynn. Off and running. Now, if if I knew that my mouse would work if I turned, then I would turn, but, uh, oh my goodness. Taking hits already. We'll just wander for a little bit. Um, I am completely and 100% new to FTB, so I see already some tree structures that I am not at all familiar with. Uh, knowing that there are different tree types in FTB, I'm going to assume. Um, I think pumpkins are pumpkins are a big deal. So here's a bunch of pumpkins here that I've run into. Here we 
go. I got a pumpkin. Alrighty, uh, we'll leave it here. If you guys have comments or questions, suggestions even, please, please, please post them in the comments section. Otherwise, you should subscribe to my channel because my channel is the bestest channel ever created. Uh, no, seriously, subscribe. Uh, as I do more of these things or as I get suggestions from you folks, I will pick up and do different things. Um, hopefully Linux related. So, subscribe, comments, suggestions. Uh, I'll cut this off after we figure out what this black mass is here in the water. Again, I'm new to FTB, so I have no idea. It just looks like a great big black mass. Okay, what is this? Oil. This is oil. Awesome. There's an oil spout. I imagine people are going to start asking me for world seeds. I'll have to see if I can dig them out. Maybe I'll just delete them and pretend that I don't know. Alright. Subscribe. Questions, comments, concerns flames. Let me have them. We'll talk to you guys later.